Hi, I am Dr. Yashwant Mane, Director, Atharva Infertility Center, Nasik. Today, we will discuss pregnancy beyond the age of 40 years. That is, after 40 years of age and after age, is it possible for pregnancy or not? Is it possible? So what are the treatment options available and what are the complications that may arise if a patient attempts to get pregnant beyond the age of 40 years? Now, if you look at the normal physiology, every girl is born with fixed number of eggs. So, when she reaches the stage of puberty, that is when she achieves menarche, she has around about 2 to 3 lakh eggs in her ovaries. So, from menarche to the menopause, every month around about 30 to 40 eggs are recruited for, uh, in order to select a dominant follicle that will eventually rupture. So, by the time from the age of 13 years, when she menstruates at regular intervals, 30 to 40 follicles are exhausted from the ovaries. So by the time she reaches the age of 37, majority of the ovarian pool or the follicular pool, what we say, gets exhausted. So there are many reasons that many couples are attempting pregnancy at late reproductive age. This is attributed to changing social lifestyles, higher education among the girls, then prioritizing the jobs, career, and then marriage becoming one of the last priority. And when they get married, even immediately having a child is not onto their minds. So when they think of seriously having a child, they usually are in the advanced stage of the reproductive age. So at this stage, having a pregnancy could be a challenging thing. So the first thing, if a female is attempting pregnancy beyond the age of 37 years, she needs to first consult her doctor. The doctor will analyze her. She will have a brief history, like what's her age, duration of marriage. Now, duration of marriage has got a direct correlation with pregnancy at an advanced age. If prolong the duration of pregnancy, then chances of getting pregnant even with advanced treatment becomes difficult. Doctor can do an ultrasound scan and assess the ovary and the uterus. In the ovaries, the doctor usually assess the antral follicle count. Usually, to have a healthy uh, pregnancy, we should expect around about 8 to 10 eggs in each ovary. So, this basic ultrasound scan is usually done on second or third day of the menstrual cycle. So, it will give a fair amount of idea what an ovary reserve is. Suppose the doctor does an uh, ultrasound scan and if he finds that the ovary reserve is borderline or poor, Doctor can advise her to do a blood test for anti mullerian hormone or in simple words it is called as AMH test. AMH test is a simple blood test which can be done in any day of the menstrual cycle and it will give us the exact count of the ovarian reserve. If the ovarian reserve is borderline or poor then the doctor will advise what are the treatment options available. Suppose a girl or a female at the age of 37 years visits a doctor and she finds her ovarian reserve to be borderline criteria, then it is advisable or the doctor advises that this girl should fasten getting pregnant. Because with each menstrual cycle, she will exhaust her 30 to 40 eggs. And when she becomes really serious to have a child, the ovarian reserve depletes significantly. If the ovarian reserve is poor or low, if the AMH level is less than 1, then she has very few options available. The best possible option is IVF. In IVF, we tend to stimulate the ovaries with a strong dose of gonadotropin with the intention to get as many eggs as possible. You can collect the eggs, culture the embryos, create the embryos, and you can, depending upon the quality, you can store the embryos. In some cases, with advancing age, especially in women or in girls wanting to have pregnancy beyond the age of 40 years, she may require multiple ovum pickups because in each cycle she may get one or two uh, mature eggs. So it is very difficult to have uh, a pregnancy with one or two embryos. So we can advise at Atharva Infertility Center we have been doing routinely is a thing called as embryo pooling. Embryo pooling is a procedure where you do multiple ovum pickups, collect 
वन टू थ्री वन टू थ्री एग्स एज पॉसिबल ग्रो द एम्ब्रियोज सेपरेट द बेस्ट क्वालिटी एम्ब्रियोज एंड फ्रीज दैम वेन यू हैव फाइव टू सिक्स गुड क्वालिटी एम्ब्रियोज फ्रोजन देन लेटर ऑन यू कैन गो इन फॉर एम्ब्रियो ट्रांसफर द एडवांटेज ऑफ एम्ब्रियो पुलिंग इज यू गेट अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ एम्ब्रियोज फॉर ट्रांसफर वन सेकेंड यू ट्रांसफर वन और टू एम्ब्रियोज एट अ टाइम एंड शी कंसिज इन द फर्स्ट अटैम्प द सब्सिक्वेंट the remaining embryos can be frozen for the period of next 10 years so if, even if she reaches the age of 40 years and she plans to have a child second child at the age of 43 44 years by the time her biological age is al- already clicked on so at that time her ovarian pool might have been completely exhausted so even at the age of 43 or 44 years she can conceive with her own frozen embryos which were frozen few years back The advantage of embryo pooling is if the patient doesn't conceive in the first embryo transfer in the second cycle you can again attempt a second embryo transfer with the frozen embryos so embryo pooling is a very good option and in some cases even with multiple or the best possible treatment good embryos are not available for transfer in those cases you can definitely consider the patients for donor egg In donor egg as per the new ART law we give seven mature eggs to the recipient and we culture them with the husband's sperm and grow them to day 5 in the lab on day 5 see how many blastocysts are formed out of seven m2 mature oocytes if you get four blastocysts you can transfer one or two maximum blastocysts and the remaining blastocyst can be frozen this is the part of iv If the patient conceives with her own eggs beyond the age of 37 years, now these eggs they are more prone for genetic abnormalities in the newborn. So it is advisable for these girls to have maternal screening for aneuploidies or chromosomal abnormalities. The most common chromosomal abnormalities is trisomy 21. You can do amniocentesis if required. You can do NIPT test. You can do NT scan. You can do a dual marker test. and you can do other soft marker test for identifying trisomy 21 there is one more thing which we have seen in women actually trying to get pregnant beyond the age of 37 is they have a higher incidence of miscarriage that is because these oocytes which were obtained in a female beyond the age of 37 years they tend to have abnormal uh, uh, genetic material so if this egg fertilizes and this embryo implants then there is a very high possibility of uh, missed abortion or spontaneous abortion or genetic abnormality in the embryo so you should always be in constant consult uh, a consultation with the doctor who will advise you test as and when required and if you are under proper supervision you can definitely have a healthy child even after the age of 37 years mm-hmm.